What the? Problem is, I have to call mom. Well, he fuck this shit. Ow, that hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Fuck this shit. Ow. Fuck this shit. Get l fuck this shit. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. I, hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pick. It's your last one. Jesus. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Well, go to hell, guy. I didn't see this before. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Okay, let's go to a parking lot and... So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a, take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Okay, what's the deal here? Hope Hello, you enjoyed fearless. the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Mmm. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Yes, yeah, because I don't like it too. She needs help. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Ah, oh, God. Oh, Max, From that was fire great. To the fire pan. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Mm. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. I don't care. She seems to, to have a lot of troubles. somebody to count on. There he is. Ooh, a pickup. I'm glad I stepped in that time. I can't stand to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank That's Victoria right. won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. 
I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Never possible. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. I think she committed suicide, ran away, who knows. Yo, Max, check it out. Look at Warren and his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. The X-Files. <laughs> and there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. Yep. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. <laughs> art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch <laughs> Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. <laughs> Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? <laughs> if I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Hmm. Tell me everything. Can I For trust reals, him? Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Whoa. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Oh, go! Oh, I got this! 
Get in, Max. Oh, he's brave. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. What a dick. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Hmm. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. <laughs> Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Mm, she's right. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it in my place i need very specific tiny tools bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool <laughs> welcome home max Interesting. So she is the best friend. She doesn't contact me for a long time. But why? Because she's depressed. She's going down the drain. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. <laughs> And she has changed in these five years, I suppose. She was blonde first, now she's blue with blue hair with all tattoos all over her body. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool, at least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Uh, Jesus Christ, she has a problem. It won't play without any power. Houston, we have the power. But we need to find a disc to play. Hmm. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Spoilers. Oh, God, Doom. Why? Why do you have to give me spoilers? Look at that. 
Chloe and her dad were so close. What kind of spoilers do you have to give me? Perhaps the, the father died or left? Why do I have a bad feeling about I'm this? I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Well, at, in the day of my birthday, this 17th of October, she has to repay $3,000. Shit. Cylinder head basket, alternative replacement, radiator replacement, fuel pump replacement, tensioner flush, Caroline system, water pump. Basically, she had to repair the entire truck. But why? Trash Chloe's can. trash overfloweth. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. But why? Is this a desk or a storage space? It's really I think interesting. This junk swallowed the game, her it's, the game gives you uh, a good vibe, a good feeling every time you play it. Um, this is my second, run, my my first run, but the second time I've been playing this game. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop, but I love how funky and outdated it is. She even covered it in punk stickers because Chloe doesn't give a shit. Oregon this Coast. postcard is from Rachel Ember. So they were friends. Man, Maybe she was I a substitute, substitute friend? We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom Eagle and Super Kitty. <laughs> Black Hole Danger, Cosmic Snail. Max and Chloe. 20, uh, July 28th, 2007. Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn, Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student, when she cared. I just finished playing Lisp before the storm on my channel. Ooh, really? I don't have that one. This looks it's like a, a laundry bag. Right? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Fuck all shit life. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Dad's gone. Ah, uh, she didn't she didn't take it really well. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. She's angry with the world. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. That's a photo of Rachel. And some change postcard hey give me that sorry I wasn't trying to be nosy obviously she was a good friend it's putting it mildly that's Rachel Amber her missing person posters are all over Blackwell yeah I put them up she was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. 
Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Hmm. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She doesn't know. She couldn't wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. And she felt... Abandoned the girl again. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, too. you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. She's not. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. 